Okay, so now we're ready to stitch this face together. So what we're going to do is grab his face and pop that beard underneath his nose. And then we're going to flip it over. Grab a bit of sticky tape and just hold that in place like that. And then we're going to pop his head underneath his hat. Flip it over and you can see where it's just poking through. That's what you want. Teachers might have to help you just stick the face in place. Just like that. And there he is. You can see where this colour goes all the way to the edge of the face. That's what I tried to leave a little bit blank because I want to put some hair there. But not to worry, I'll show you how this is going to go together. So then you need to flip it over. You need to put some glue all over the back. And then we're gonna get a sheet of paper and we are going to stick our face right in the middle. Now, he's looking very wild and wooly, but he is missing a couple of things. He's missing some ears. I'm gonna just put those on first. Really rough, just with my pastel, like that. And then I'm gonna give him some hair. He's gonna have some scraggly, kind of long hair, like this, coming out from under his hat. And you can give your bush ranger whatever hairstyle you like. It doesn't have to be long and straggly. It might be frizzy and curly like my other bush ranger. I'm just trying to make this one look a bit different. And I'm just trying to pick the same colours that were in his beard. I've got a bit of glue there, which is why that is not covering. And I just went over his ear. Not to worry, give his ear a little bit of detail if you want. Go over his nose a bit more. And then he's going to need some shoulders. So I would imagine the bottom of his chin to be about here. So I think his shoulders should just come out like this. Now he's in the bush, so he probably doesn't have very fancy clothes. He's probably got very ratty, tatty, old, raggy kind of clothes. So if you just do your sort of outline first, and then you can come in with some color. So I think I'm gonna give him a gray vest. Probably not too many options in what the bush rangers were able to wear. And I might just put this on, speed it up so you don't have to watch the whole thing. One fifth thing I did forget to tell you was to put a ribbon on his hat because he was a member of the ribbon gang after all and that's what they did. They put a ribbon on their hat to show that they were members of the ribbon gang So you can just give him a bit of a ribbon like that. And because he was a bushman, I'm just going to draw a bit of a branch in the background just to show that he was in the Australian bush. If you guys have a different idea about what you wanna draw in the background, no problem. This is a creative exercise and you can put whatever you like in the background. So I'm just gonna draw a really rough, sketchy branch maybe with a couple of gum leaves. I can almost smell the eucalyptus of this man's territory. Bit of green. You can see I'm doing this pretty rough and ready. You don't need to be super particular with your drawing. 
you just got to go with it. All right. And the last thing that we're going to do is paint the background. So I have a little bit of water here. And I'm going to just mix up a couple of shades of blue. And I'm just going to paint the background. You can go straight over the top of your pastel. It ain't going anywhere. And I'm going to speed this up too so you don't have to watch the whole thing. So there he is. Yet another very shifty member of the Ribbon Gang. All right, guys, enough for me. Now it's your turn. Have fun.